can make it. Anything out of a coconut, sailboat, yacht, helicopters, uh, rod and reels. And I know I could have made a rod and reel four years ago. So I started making rod and reels out of coconut. Actually, I make about 50 different things out of a coconut. It's not just a helicopter, but it's a fishing rod. Actually, as far as I know in Germany, I'm the only one who's making this type of stuff uh, that's um, made in Germany, non-crafted. Uh, you know, I try to use uh, all the talent that God gives me. I, I don't, I don't want to leave none out. You got to use all. Actually, when we were kids, we made our own toys. Boat, airplanes. We, we used to use a, like a coconut like this. Uh, and you make the sail from, from the coconut blanket, we call it. Somebody wants a sailboat and they're, they're traveling, they just pull this up, it folds everything up, and then you can take it in your bag without that big sail sticking out. And not everything itself would be a coconut, except the base would be a piece of wood. But then, we would sail these from the shores where Big Game Fishing Club is now, out to Tokus Key. They never returned, but we made them in a way where they could have sailed from our arms uh, to Tokus Key. Then if you want them back from Tokus Key, then you have to swim over there <laughs> and try to sail them back. About 40 years ago, I made this rod in real life. Okay? It was made from a carnation milk can. And I used the soda or the bear tops as dyes. And uh, today, I wouldn't make anything in metal because of security reasons. So, getting in and out of an airport. And then it went some years I didn't do anything until I really got to retire from Big Game Fishing Club. So um, I wasn't going to sit around and do nothing. And I know I could have made a rod and reel four years ago. So I started making rod and reels out of coconuts. The rod itself is from driftwood. It made to resemble a football, being football season and all. Of course, I. I normally make these and I put Miami Dolphin on, on them because that's my team. There's a drag on it and it, it winds from here, it reels up. Oh, the tourists love it. The tourists, the tourists love it. Knowing that it's made in Bimini and seeing it made and then to, to, um, to have me sign it. Have you sign it? Uncrafted in Bimini by Thomas Saunders. Uh, <laughs> nothing on it that says anything from China. They love that. <laughs> you know, people hate to go to another country and you've got uh, the souvenir, which is made in, in China, Japan, Taiwan, or Hong Kong or something, and it, it doesn't make too much sense for you to come to Bahamas and buy something that's made in China or even in the US. Even to a, a shape, you have Germany on it, but then the back of the collar says made in China or USA or someplace else. So I think it's very important that you have something homemade, something that you can say, you know, I did it or we did it in Bahamas. My name is Thomas Saunders, born in Germany, 1939, April 12th. Uh, and I consider myself being real gifted. I call it a gift from God and uh, being a, a, a gift from God I intend to use all of it. Yes I would like to say to um, the younger generation to you know come to the plate and, and uh, start to do some some things uh, on the island especially art. That's going to be the thing because we're not going to get rid of tourists no time soon.